Good evening, and welcome to the Enderverse. My name is Coffee Nuts, and I'm here to fix your problems. Now, I run a server on, called Enderverse, and I have my own mod pack called Enderverse as well. Uh, it's a very difficult mod pack, but the complaint that I get from some of my people is sound. <gasps> yes, the sound goes out, and so we're going to go over a few ways how we can fix this. First off, let's figure out if this problem is going to be your problem. If you have Creative Labs sound card, you might want to go see if the in your programs files, and we're going to type some of the stuff out. Let's see, inside your, um, um, check your program files and see if in there you have something called Open GL, or sorry, Al. Uh, I think it's 32 now this right here file is great for those that have like I said creative sound cards some people have those onboard things and it's a uh, 3d real tech so and they may not actually have this problem what we're looking for in that case situation is you didn't install all of the drivers. You might want to go ahead and do this. You'd probably be noticing this if your sound is messing up and not just Minecraft. Now, back to what the, the nit and gritty of this. We're dealing with, like I said, the Technic Launcher sound problems. You can easily identify that the problem that I'm about to uh, discuss uh, is if yours, and I'm just botching my spellings is if you're getting the sound only from the mod packs uh, if you're getting no vanilla sound then you need to use uh, <laughs> vanilla sound if you're getting no vanilla sounds then this is usually what's going to fix it now you can try the um, whole sf3 and if you do the SF3, you should get something along the lines of uh, your screen freezing. So let's let me show you that. Now, you see how it didn't do it? That's because I didn't hit it at the same time. Now, I'm trying to wiggle my mouse around, you can, and you can see that it's kind of frozen. Oh, everything pops up. That's what it'll look like is if you did the whole SF3 correctly. Um, if you didn't, well, there you go. And if you have a laptop, obviously you're going to have to hold down the function key and then press S, F3 in order to get that to function. If you have a Mac, uh, I cannot really fix your problems too much. I know this is what fixes Windows. Uh, it may, it, this will probably work for you too. It's a very simple fix. So, what you're going to do is you're going to load your Minecraft, if you haven't done so. Uh, your regular Minecraft, not your Technic. We'll come back to that. Now, once you've loaded your Minecraft, uh, you might want to load, let's say, the latest version or something earlier. Let's say all your mods are 1.6.4 because we all know that uh, we've been having trouble with 1.7 and updatings for mods. So, we'll load 1.6.4. All right, so we did this. We went all the way to our load screen. We came into our lovely little world. We're jumping around. Yay! Although I'm in creative. Now, we go back out of this and we close everything. It's all closed. All right, now you're going to open up the app percent data. App percent data folder. And go into your roaming. If you don't know how to do this, you might want to look it up. But basically, inside this, you're going to find the .minecraft directory. You're also going to probably see the .technic folder, too. Tech, come on, spell. Technic launcher, if I'm not mistaken. The .technic. Now, you've got both of those folders in there. You're going to go into the .minecraft. And you're going to go into the assets folder. And then you're going to go in, and then you're going to see something called virtual uh, in the latest updates. Now, inside this, you're going to see a bunch of sound files. If you do not see these sound files, oops. If you do not see these sound files, don't worry. 
uh, there's not, uh, you might have something that's labeled legacy. And inside that, you will find your sound files. You'll realize it because there will be a bunch of folders in there and you'll, you'll see something like dot sound JSON as well. So what you're going to do is you're going to uh, uh, highlight all of the files. Highlight all files. And then you're going to control C. Um, AKA, or, or in other words, uh, or right click copy however you want to do it and then you're going to go over to your dot technic uh, technic launcher and I would have used my web my uh, actual video cam for my desktop but for some reason it wasn't working so I'm having to do this through here and I just wanted to get this out to the people because uh, as a server runner it gets really irritating hearing all your players complain about the small little nuances. And when I find a fix, I want to share the fix so I don't see this problem and it helps everybody out. Now, dot technic launcher. You're going to go into that dot technic launcher and you're going to go into the assets folder. Now, inside the assets folder, you're not going to replicate the virtual. No, 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 no. You're going to copy these files. Copy files directly into the dot tech and I am just y'all are laughing at me I know technic launcher slash assets folder so when you go into this folder you should see that sound.json and all the uh, the uh, pack folder uh, once you're done with this you'll see a bunch of uh, the resource folder all those folders they should all be in that assets directly not in a not in a virtual uh, not in a, vir uh, a spare virtual not in the uh, the legacy not in all that you're, you're going to put it directly into the assets so copy all those files into that assets folder this should fix your malfunction sometimes when technic is updated uh, or or when you install it freshly it just goes it forgets about the sound and you're like uh why don't i have any vanilla sound this is why so this is a very simple fix um and i'm going to give you a bonus on some simple fixes too there's some other things you can do uh, to speed up your problems on the client side because believe it or not there's a lot of issues the client has it's not necessarily server like bad packet 27 or internal server error <sighs> these are fun issues I'm telling you now the internal server error sometimes I'm going to tell you is very simple deleting the NEI. Some people's things just don't like the NEI. You have to delete it. I'm sorry. What you're going to want to try to do though is first uh, completely erase and you're going to want to do this after you've gone through a few updates because updating doesn't clean things so completely erase tech nick directory i am just having so much fun directory whatever you get the picture you're going to completely erase it and you're going to reinstall and since you can see how you're going to fix your sound resources, it's a very simple fix. You can fix that. Now, what this does is cleans it up. If you've updated one mod pack like more than once or twice or, or retrograded, whatever, sometimes it forgets to delete things or it doesn't delete things. And so there could be conflicting problems, especially if you're getting a problem like uh, ID mismatch with a server. My advice is simple. Erase it, install it, you're done. Another quick thing is, is uh, if you really want to clean up everything, Java, reinstall it. Uh, fuck it. You, you, you get the picture. Uh, reinstall Java. <laughs> 
reinstall. There you go. So, simple things for uh, simple minds. That fixes a lot of your issues right there. Uh, bad packet ID 27 could result in, especially with uh, Ars Magica. I, I, I deal with this a lot because I have Ars Magica uh, on my server. Uh, ask the um, server operator to delete your player data. This right here will fix it. You'll lose all your stuff in your ender chest and all your other little nifty things and it'll reset all your labels, but at least you can log back into the server. That tends to be a lot of the problems. All right, this is Coffee Nuts out. Uh, peace, love, green jello. It's the holidays right now, so I wish you some happy holidays, whether it be Christmas, Kwanzaa, uh, what's the other one, Hanukkah? Yeah. Or, or how about the people who don't believe in any? I wish you a great winter solstice uh, or flying spaghetti monster worshipping of the cold days. Whatever it may be, happy holidays. Coffee Nuts out.